at the rooftops of the world from Siberia through northwestern China and into the Tibetan Plateau. More than 30 million people live in areas where a mysterious and crippling disease is endemic, creating a major public health problem. Big bone disease is an osteoarticular disease that destroys bone and joint cartilage, resulting in enlarged joints, shortened limbs, stunted growth and arthritis-like pain, restricting movement of the arms and legs. Clinical signs can appear at the age of four. When contracted early, it can cause a form of dwarfism, shortening the femur and humerus bones. Big bone disease is particularly acute in the Tibet Autonomous Region because of extreme poverty. While the exact cause remains unknown, scientists believe key factors include harmful fungi and grain eaten by the population and poor nutrition owing to poverty. This lifetime of pain and handicap has social and economic consequences. Children cannot play like normal because they have limited movement, get tired easily and experience chronic pain. As adults, they face an inability to earn a living. In 1992, Doctors Without Borders was the first organisation to treat big bone disease in the Tibet Autonomous Region. After 10 years, it handed over the programme to the Cash and Back Disease Foundation. Today, the same international, medical, scientific and agricultural experts work alongside long-standing Tibetan staff to provide humanitarian assistance. Generally, the growth of BBD seems to be slow, but someone whose arms or legs are not in good condition cannot, in this world at least, get happiness from life. So bearing this in mind, I see it as a complicated and bad disease. Médecins Sans Frontières gave us physiotherapy training, and so now we're able to treat it. Even if we cannot cure the disease completely, we should try to make life easier for the patients. And for this, we feel responsible. Village doctors and staff carry out nutrition and agricultural activities in 106 villages. Under the direction of Dr. Francoise Mathieu, who started the programme in 1992 and is one of the founders of the KBD Foundation. The organisation's three-year plan includes health clinics, Village doctors will conduct big bone disease surveillance and treat symptoms. They will carry out nutritional assessments and distribute vitamins, iodine and selenium supplements. Decontamination of grains and proper storage. Tibetan staff will provide villagers with seed mixers, iron shelves and storage bags. Farmers will be shown how to dress seeds and store grain properly. Crop diversity. Tibetan staff will help farmers grow nettle crops in 106 villages which will provide a more nutritious diet year-round. Empowerment and sustainability. The KBD Foundation will continue to increase the knowledge and ability of its Tibetan staff, village doctors and farmers, by providing training, community education and material supplies. How can you help? Your financial support can help Tibetans living in the areas affected by big bone disease. You can help ease the chronic pain. You can help a new generation of children avoid this disease. You can help find the cause and a cure. You can help this Tibetan population improve their standard of living. Help the KBD Foundation implement these solutions village by village. Learn how to adopt a village. Visit www.kbdfoundation.org the Cash and Back Disease Foundation.